freak. Chosen City. But MD. Okay. Maryland. Maryland. Uh, <clears throat> hey, if you want to live a long life, and who would say no to that? Uh, but a healthy life. Just look to the people who live in many parts of Japan, but especially Okinawa. They may have found the key to living to well past 100 years of age. Uh, Drexel University professor, sports nutritionist, one of our favorites, Nairi Dar Darian, <laughs> is with us now. Hi, Nairi. Hi. Hey. So, yeah. What are they doing on Okinawa? They're eating less. All right, there's a secret, but I want to ask you, are you part of the Clean Your Plate Club? Well, I was when I was growing up, and it's exactly what I thought of when I heard about this. What are we supposed to do with the other 20% of the food? Well, you're supposed to cook less, okay. or you're just going to have to let it go, because you know what? At the end of the day, it's really not going to anybody, right? So, in Okinawa, they have a saying, and it's hara hachibu, which means eat... 80%, eat until you're 80% full. Don't go all the way to that full capacity like we're used to or feel obligated to clean the plate. So leaving just a little bit, leaving a bite. But when I say eat till 80% full, I also know what they're doing in Okinawa is they're eating good foods, right. healthy foods, nutrient-dense foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah seafood and then they have the sweet potato there but it's not your ordinary sweet potato it's purple and you can get them right here right at Whole Foods I so I, I have the purple look at this look at how beautiful it is I mean so the richer the color the more nutrients the more anthocyanin so you're eating they're eating nutrient dense foods and that's part of it you know it's local it's not processed so but they still leave start slow Leave two bites, you know? You gotta start somewhere. Mm -hmm. But that's my thing, because I, I, and I've just now recently become more aware of this, but I, I'm used to eating until I feel kind of tight, like, okay, I, I'm good. Because I'm worried if I don't eat enough, then I'm just gonna be hungry again very soon. They're saying stop before you feel tight. Right, but then I'm worried I'm just gonna get hungry again in a little bit. But well, your brain well, remember, take like, over. there is science. Your brain, yes, your brain's gonna take over, because it does take time. So when you eat, your mm -hmm. food has to go down the esophagus, into the stomach, digestion. So by the time it gets digested and into the small intestine, where that's where these messages are sent to the no. brain, that's 20 minutes. And you can down a sandwich in 12 or 7 minutes, you know? So, right. so if you wait that, if you eat till 80% full, most likely when you reach that 20 minutes, you're going to feel fuller. All right. What you're saying is, and this is where I'm going to blow it. Okay. It takes a little discipline to control yourself, quit shoveling it in, and trust that you're going to be full like 10, 15 minutes after you stop eating, even though you're still, you think you're still hungry. Listen, you have access to food, okay? So that's not the problem. You just need to slow it down and leave a little bit. And you know, one more thing that Okinawans do is they eat with a purpose. Food for them, it's medicine. So that's how I want you to think about it. Like, this is your medicine. This is your fuel. You have to put good things into your body, and you have to eat mindfully. So take a pause, leave a little I bit know. on the plate, and eat nutrient-rich food. Two ten times, slow down. <laughs> don't walk, don't eat in front of your television. I do all the yeah. wrong things. Yeah, I know. We all do. So it just takes a little bit of, yes, discipline. And look discipline, at these noodles. Discipline. Do you see them? These soba noodles? Oh, They're like discipline. so good. Like what that is that? Noodles. Seaweed? What did you get no, on No, noodles? these are soba noodles. Oh, I They're like soba high noodles. in fiber, high in protein. So they're eating really good foods. And I just want to mention good carbohydrates. Now, I don't want to say, um, okay, inappropriate devil over here, <laughs> angel. <laughs> Which one are you going to Good to? job. I'm going to go devil. What? When you think about it, oh, no. you don't see very many Japanese people who are overweight, unless they're you know, like sumo wrestlers or something like that. Isn't that true? It is cultural. So it definitely is a cultural the right stuff. thing. Yeah. And, and there are some cultures that just naturally are smaller, thinner.
but they're also it's a lifestyle more more uh daily exercise yeah. and that exercise like you don't see okinawans going to planet fitness right they're like <laughs> farming and they're, they're doing things and they're outside and they're walking and they're talking to their family members and their communities so like they're really just engaged in this community that includes food and they and they respect their elders and take care of them alex yes you we'll know that. we got yes. you i got you i did that <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here i'm i'm flying to okinawa <laughs> Dang. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. All right.